What is it with sensitive snowflakes going to a comedy show and then complaining when the comedian performs comedy? In the video I want to show you today, there is someone with clearly no sense of humor that got offended at a Trump joke and they decided to throw an item at the comedian, attacked him because their feelings were hurt. Now there's a reason I don't get into politics. It's exactly for situations like this. People take it way too personally and this could have happened with anybody. It could have been a Trump supporter, a Biden supporter. It just happened to be a Trump supporter this time. And the thing that really baffles me is that this person took time out of their day to go to a comedy show, to have a good time. Comedy is sacred. You can laugh at everything and anything. I mean, look at South Park. They'll have crazy racist jokes, but they don't get canceled because they just laugh at everybody, including themselves. As you guys may or may not know, they are Jewish, and that's probably the religion they make the most fun of in the entire show. So without further ado, let's watch the clip. That way we're on the same page, and then we'll talk about it. Like, I know I'm supposed to appreciate, like, certain architecture and like that, like, more than I do, but it never, I just, I don't get it. It, like the Washington Monument. I'm like, somebody got paid to design that? It's a pencil. I, I mean, it's just a big cement pencil. Some people think it looks like a but I think they're saving that design for Trump's monument. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> no, you stupid. All right, what are you, his mom? Get the out of here. Oh, God, I, am I the first one to dislike Trump? Oh, my God, I must have invented disliking Donald Trump. Hey, you know what? You come up here and do this. And, and, and yeah, oh, yeah, I feel go. <laughs> what the is that? Did she, get, did she get mad at anybody else for talking about Trump? I'm like the ninth out of ten guy. So I'm not exactly sure what she threw at him, but it's like, lady, you do not belong in a comedy club. That was one of the tamest joke I have ever heard. It wasn't vile, it wasn't raunchy, it wasn't explicit, it was just very basic. And the fact that she got so offended that she decided to throw an object at him, it just shows that, lady, you need to grow up. You are at the wrong place and you have a lot of introspection to do. Because to jump to violence after someone uses words in a comedy club is laughable. At the end of the day, whether you're a Trump supporter, a Biden supporter, or like me, you don't really care that much about politics, it doesn't matter. I don't think you should feel the need to white knight for any of them because Trump or Biden, they don't know you exist. You're just one random voter. If you're willing to attack people over protecting their feelings, you're looking really pathetic right now. I personally think people get way too emotional and wrapped up in politics. It is important to stay informed. It is important to vote. But at the same time, don't let it cloud your judgment where you feel the need to react like this because your favorite politician is being attacked in a comedy club. I mean, that's what they're there for. Anyways, that's it for the video. I just wanted to talk about a different topic for today. I found that completely ridiculous. And if a Biden fan does something similar, you best believe I would have called him out as well. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.